what's going on? Razor Rescue are here, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today, like I am today, because I'm here to bring you guys another wonderful commentary slash story today, slash gameplay, because I actually brought my own gameplay for once. Holy crap, that is weird. It's just like, I think I go like 20 to 11, and I die like three times off the bat, and I just have a good time. It's really, really fun. I think you guys will enjoy this gameplay. I know I go 7 to 1 in one of the parts, so I get a 7 kill streak, which for me is really good, because the highest thing I've gotten is like 15 in this game, so that's really, really good for me, and I'm really happy about this gameplay, and it's something that I would actually share with you guys, so... Let's get straight into today's story. Now, today's story is actually about how I got attacked by a seagull, or a flock of seagulls, or really, it was just one seagull, but it's really, really funny, and I think you guys will really enjoy this story. So, it happened last weekend, and I was really, really weirded out by it, but I didn't get to tell you guys the story yet. It was just so weird when it actually happened that I was just in shock. I didn't even, didn't even realize what really happened, and it was really, really weird. I don't know how to best describe it to you guys, but I'm going to get right into the story. Now, today's story, it starts off as we were all going surfing, me, my dad, my sister, and my sister's friend who was coming along with us. So, we were just all going surfing, we were going to have a really, really good time. Uh, Island, I don't live there, but we go surfing all the way up there. You guys probably do know it if you're from the East Coast. I went to First Beach, it's one of the best beaches actually in Rhode Island, so I go there mainly because it's a nice beach, and because it's also got uh, surfing. They actually have real waves there, it's really, really weird to even see that. Because a lot of the other beaches, they don't have as good of surfing. And it's a really big beach, so it's, there's a lot of open air. And, you know, you have a lot of space in between each surface. So I like that about it, too. So it's just overall better than most uh, places I go surfing around here. Because in the East Coast, surfing really sucks. There's nowhere you can really go, especially where I live. Uh, so it really does suck that I have to go about, like, two hours away from where I live. Just so I can go surfing. And I do this about once a weekend, or whenever I really feel like it. So I'm really, really happy about that, and you know, it's overall going to be really, really good for me. I'm going to enjoy surfing the rest of the summer because I still have about a month left before I can actually, you know, go by my myself soon because I might test. And I'm actually excited about that. Uh, once I get that, I'm actually going to do a car vlog. So I think you guys will enjoy that when it's finally done and all that. But as we were there, we all were catching waves. I caught a massive eight-foot wave. Oh my! I didn't record it because I didn't record this wave. I was all bummed because I had like. 10 waves at least where I was like I had it and then I just completely just face bombed like I went too far down I was leaning too far in trying to curve the wave and I just completely just hit my face on the ground and I was like you gotta be kidding me and I did this like 10 times and you know I was so pissed about this wave that I didn't record it's no big deal but, but you know I'm not gonna be too mad about it so after I caught the amazing wave that I caught that I rode all the way in uh, the rest of the group and I were just sitting there we were talking with some friends we had who were not going to surf with us. They were just hanging out with their daughter and whatever. So I was like, you know, that's cool. Uh, and I just decided to go have lunch. You know, I was like, I'm, I'm done and I just want some lunch. I'm just going to have a good time. It's going to be overall really, really great. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It was good. You know, I'm not going to complain about it. But while I'm having this peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I noticed something. I'm the only one there, by the way, uh, just to mention that to you guys. I'm the only one there and all of these seagulls are coming around me. I had like a flock of seagulls circling around me and I wasn't sure what the heck was going on. I was like, did I leave some food on the ground? Did I, what did I do? And you know, I was looking around, they were hopping on top of my surfboard. So I wasn't really sure about that. I kicked a bunch of them off. I was like, no, you guys are not staying on here. I'm really bummed about that. You you cannot take some seagull turds on my, my new surfboard. Cause I got a big surfboard and it's awesome. I love it so much. It's like seven, eight and it's really, really nice. So I love that board. And while I'm doing that, I'm just having a really good time. I'm eating my sandwich and I noticed there's so many of these guys. And it got to the point where I was like looking around, trying to see if there was food, and I didn't see anything. So I just sat back in my chair. I'm like, you know what? These seagulls are probably just going to leave. Maybe it's somebody else that smells like food or something. Can't be me. I smell like seaweed right now. And, you know, I'm just chilling there, having a good old time. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this seagull comes out and freaking dive bombs me and hits me in the back of the head. Like, I literally fell out of my chair and was looking around, and I saw the seagull, and he went for a chip that was under my surfboard. I didn't even see the chip. It was like some Stacy's pita chip or something. And apparently my dad left it there. He didn't notice it. He dropped it and didn't want to pick it up. But if it wasn't for my dad, I wouldn't have been attacked by that seagull. So I hope you guys did enjoy this story. I actually tried to go after the seagull after that, and I actually punched the ground instead of the seagull. I'm really, really bummed about that, too. I didn't miss the seagull. But overall, it was a really, really funny story. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I got, took a long time to get to the actual point. And it's really, really weird now that I look back on it that I got attacked by some seagulls. And it's just creepy now that I think about it. But overall, I do think it was a really good story. I hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay also. I'm going to wrap it up here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Goodbye.